Breaking news is A.H. decides to break her silence and give an interview. She accidentally gives away the fact that all the stuff that people bring up to the trial itself, that it gets to her while she's trying to promote this idea. She's on a Hollywood comeback. While sites like IMDb actually remove the ability to rate this thing at all. Why? Well, if you look at the popularity here, this thing is dropping like a meteorite telling you all you need to know about potential audiences and what they think about this quote-unquote comeback. Now, the interview, oh, it is a mess, too. I mean, we have A.H. saying, I'm not going to talk about what happened. No, I'm not going to discuss that. By the way, going to take shots at J.D.? I'm here to support a movie. I can't be sued for that, can I? It is chocked full of the bizarre, too. And you and I, we're going to talk about that today. And when I say the bizarre, people have been pointing out things like this that mirrors J.D. I mean, you remember that injury that J.D. had around a month ago? Ago. Well, apparently she has one too. She has a wrist injury. Now, how did she get that injury? She got it swatting flies. I kid you not, that's what it says. Oh man, this stuff is crazy times. It is crazy times indeed. All right, so hey there to all you fine folks on this fine day, by the way. I hope you were doing excellently. So after a festival chock full of empty seating for this debut movie with people not knowing who this is, thinking she's part of Indiana Jones and more, you have an interview. And this interview, yeah, it is something. So this interview is going to start out talking about an injury, a wrist injury. We'll read this in a second. And as many have interestingly pointed out, this comes after JD had an injury. He had an injury to his ankle. It canceled a few of his appearances. And as many have added to this, I mean, we saw a lot of incidents that were reported as mimicking during the trial. You can see the outfits here. You can see also outfits here. Here. And probably the biggest thing here, you notice the tie here, you notice the clip. Yeah, that seems, huh, interesting, doesn't it? And the reason here isn't swatting a bee, mind you. Oh no, this time it's a fly. And a lot of people have pointed out it's fascinating. A fly, that needs medical attention. But everything claimed in the trial, none of that needed medical attention. Listen to this here, though. Quote, I met A.H. in a cafe of the hotel in Sicily. And when she reaches to shake hands, the icebreaker becomes the tan orthopedic brace crater that wrist. Quote, I wish I had a better story, but I was swatting a fly, though in my opinion, it was a mosquito, which makes it extra annoying, and I missed and tripped over my daughter's little stepping stool and caught myself with my wrist. I have tendonitis in the same wrist, and while my usual sound medical approach is to ignore it and hope it gives way, this wasn't an option because it would just linger. Hmm. Now, probably the most entertaining part of all of this is A.H. accidentally telling people, Oh, this stuff bothers me. I want to make all of the noise that I created for six years just go away. I'm not going to talk about that stuff, by the way. I can't get sued, can I? While saying, oh, this is all about Hollywood comeback. This is from Shills, too. You have Pinsky Media Group, which I'm going to tell you about in just a moment. This is Deadline. Quote, A.H.'s protectors were out in force as the film premiered in the ancient outdoor amphitheater that makes the festival singular, but you learn quickly she can take care of herself, unless there's a winged bug, you know, bees, flies, all bets are off, right? Oh, beware the big bugs indeed, yeah. We've established an upfront understanding that she is also taking care not to add any oxygen to this scandalous chapter she just completed. Though, if you skip forward, well, she acknowledges that takes self-discipline that she had to learn along the way. So, going to talk about that, not going to confine it to the day job. Here's what she has to say. I'm in control for the most part of what comes out of my mouth. What I'm not in control is how my pride in this project and all we put into this film can be surrounded by clips of other stuff. I always hate this idea, too. You need to separate the art from the 
artist. Yeah, this is somebody that tried to destroy an artist and their art, but hey, don't want to bring that stuff up anymore. That's a big thing I had to learn, and I'm not in control of stories other people create around me. That's something that probably I'll appreciate as a blessing further down the line. Right now, I just kind of want to not, you know, have stones thrown at me so much. Again, could you imagine a Harvey Weinstein or someone else saying this? Oh man, could you guys please lay off? Of course not. Yeah, but here, here it's different. So let's get the elephant out of the room then. And let me just say this. I'm an actress. I'm here to support a movie. And that's not something I can be sued for. Again, (laughs) took shots at somebody. Taking them again here. These are shots, but malicious intent before. And well, shields, they try to minimize it. You hear she wants to minimize it too. Again, Hollywood compact though. Like people are just going to forget. It might not be obvious to other people, but I've been acting my whole adult life since I was 16. And it's crazy it sounds to say that means I have decades in this industry. I'm not going to tell you I have this amazing film career, but what I have is something that I've made myself, and it has given me a lot to be able to contribute. The odds that this industry are really improbable, but somehow here I am. I think I've learned respect for that to be its own thing. That's substantial enough. What I have been through, what I have lived through, doesn't make my career at all, and it's certainly not going to stop my career. So let's talk about the movie. As far as that idea of career is concerned, and there is more interview, by the way, much of it minimizing, some of it taking shots, but as far as that, yeah, look no further than places like IMDb. Why? Well, no ratings anymore. You'll notice that. Why? People got tired of the mainstream media trying to promote narratives like this after watching the trial that happened and seeing people also rate 10 out of 10s. What did they do? They rated it back. And popularity, yeah, it is dropping like a meteorite. 4,580 down, 2,752 slots. If this weren't an independent film, if this were, say, The Flash, for example, or I don't know, Aquaman 2, how do you think that would go over? So, yeah, No Hollywood comeback. Can you get independence? Maybe right now, but when the novelty wears off, what happens then? You know, when it's the third or the fourth film, will it sell? Hmm, nobody will even notice. But anyway, let me know what you think about this. And as always, appreciate the heck out of you. You make this stuff work. Thank you in advance. Want to help out the channel, by the way? Links are in the description. Check those out. They always help. You being here, though, biggest help of all. Thank you. Appreciate you. End it here.